pretty one, Ulysses. There it is. Hello, Booktube. I'm Sean the Book Maniac. Welcome back to my channel. So here I'm filming where my small library is. And I'm not happy about the echo sound quality because there's a big cavernous space. So blah, blah, blah. But I, I need to be here because I'm going to be introducing it. I don't think this is a tag video, but this certainly I, could be the beginning of an okay, another occasional series on my channel. And I'm calling it Massaging My TBR. How do you like this video so far? And what I mean by Massaging My TBR is that I have a massive TBR. Let's see, how many books are on my Goodreads TBR? And for me, I keep my books that I already own in a separate catalog. So these are books that I don't own, but there are thousands of them that are on my want to read. And those, I keep the books that I own to the degree that I've sorted them. The ones that I actually own are in a separate directory. So, oh, it's not quite as many as I thought. It's 1,874 books in my want to read thing. I'm adding books every day. And then I forget what's on there until I go to add it a second time and realize that I had already added it. So I thought as an occasional series, it might be fun for me to go back and just check whatever day I happen to make a video just to review the books that I added to my TBR one year ago to the day and two years ago to the day. I think that I haven't been on Goodreads long enough to have anything from three years ago, but let's check that next. Oh, well, in fact, I joined in December 2015, so I don't think there's going to be much for three years ago, but there might be something. So I'll check the one year ago, two years ago, and three years ago, and I won't review every single book that I added on those days, but I will kind of... It's all, it won't quite be a try a chapter tag, but I just want to refresh my memory and put them back in my consciousness and then hopefully ultimately get to them sooner because I'm massaged my TBR and brought a few books back to life and back into my awareness. And in the meantime, hopefully some of you might be interested in them too. So I'm trying a sc video screen capture on my desktop and I don't know how it's going to work or how clear it's going to be so please bear with me as I debut this and if this is something that you want to do we could make it a tag but that's really not my point but you can try it if you want you could probably do a much better job I wish I had Matthew from MCS books here to make all the bells and whistles work but let me get my screen capture going So I am filming this on January 19th, 2019. So I'm going to check to see what I might have added. January 19th, 2018, 2017, and 2016. All right, so I'm going to see if I added anything on January 19th, 2016. And I added exactly one book on January 19th, 2016, and that is a book of poetry. Oh my God, what, what the hell was I thinking? Winter Morning Walks, 100 Postcards to Jim Harrison by Ted Kuzer. A 2001 collection. And I did not indicate in any way why I added it, but my guess is that somebody recommended it on one of the bookish podcasts that I was listening to at that time or on Litzy. I've heard the name Ted Kuzer. He's a Nebraskan poet, served two terms as the U.S. Poet Laureate, and apparently this is some kind of a allergy to Jim Harrison. And Jim Harrison, I'm not sure, isn't he a novelist? I see uh, one of my uh, Goodreads friends, Jerry, loved it. Maybe she recommended it on Litzy. I, I, but she said it was written when the poet was undergoing cancer treatments. Well, I had completely forgotten about that, so maybe I'll give it a whirl. 
Oh, so about the Ted Kuzer, I don't have that one on Scribd, but I see that he has another book that is a collaboration between himself and Jim Harrison called Braided Creek, A Conversation in Poetry. More than 300 poems exchanged in a long-standing correspondence. Let's just have a look. Jim Harrison, they both live in Nebraska. It's very complicated. So I think these are collaborative poems. There isn't like one poem by one and the other by the other. That They're collaborative. So let me just read the opening to It's one poem, 90-page poem called Body. How one old tire leans up against another, the breath gone out of both. Old friend, perhaps we work too hard at being remembered. Which way will the creek run when time ends? Don't ask me until this wine bottle is empty. Well, my bowl is still half full. You can eat out of it too. And when it is empty, just bury it out in the flowers. All those years I had in my pocket, I spent them nickel and dime. Each clock tick falls like a raindrop right through the floor, as if it were nothing. Okay, well, that's interesting. I may give that a shot. So that isn't the one that I tbr but another one between these two poets. Braided Creek, A Conversation in Poetry. How about January 19th, 2017? And I seem to have added five books to my TBR on January 19th, 2017. We have Insurrections by Rion Amilcar Scott. Oh, I recognize him. I think I follow him on Twitter. These look to be... It, oh, I might end up doing this for my Black History Month. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So this is very timely. This is a selection of stories set in Cross River, Maryland in the early 19th century. It's a fictional town, a large black, largely black settlement formed after a slave revolt. So, historical fiction, short stories. Oh, my goodness. So, do I have it on script? I recognize his face. I think I follow him on uh, on Twitter. I think I follow him on Twitter, but I uh, I don't have his name in my head at all. Oh, this is very good timing. Not on script, but I may track down a copy. Who is he? He looks young. Raised in Maryland, teaches English at Bowie 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 State University. This is a 2016 collection of short stories. I want to check that more. That, I would do a Kindle preview, and if I like it, I might try to fit it in for February reads. This approach is working well already. I feel my TBR coming back to life. Next we have maybe an Arabic. The President's Gardens by Musin al Ramli, translated by Luke Leifgren. I have absolutely no memory of this book. It's an epic novel about Saddam Hussein's Iraq from the beginning of the Iran-Iraq war to the aftermath of the American invasion. That one, I'm just going to set it aside and maybe think about it, but I'm not going to go down a rabbit hole with that one. Maybe I should be embarrassed to say it, but after living through the Iraq war and what is still ongoing, and especially the Afghan war, I, I can't read anything from those countries. I just feel saturated with two decades of news from there. And maybe I need to get over it, and maybe this would be a book with which to kind of experience it in a new way. But no, it's like, uh, I'm done for a while. I see none of my Goodreads friends have read it. It has a 4.1 star reading. I see Laura wants to read it. And Natalie, and a few others there, so... Well, who knows? But no, I won't uh, take the time to do a deep dive on it. The next one I bookmarked exactly two years ago was an essay collection by a Canadian writer. Uh, she writes for, or, or she did write for BuzzFeed Canada. And I can't remember exactly her ethnic background, maybe Indian or Pakistani. Sketchy Cole, one day we'll all be dead and none of this will matter. I don't think I want to read it. 
In fact, I'm going to take it off my TBR. I just don't like reading essays like that. I've heard mixed things about it, and it's not going to be for me. So let's take that one off. Wow, so that was two years ago that I added Otessa Moshveg's first novel, Mick Glue. I heard her interviewed on the KCRW bookish radio program, Bookworm, and she's a piece of work, and I, I haven't read anything she's written, but it was a fascinating interview, and I just remember thinking, if I'm going to get into this author, I have to start with this novel, Mick Glue. I still haven't. I will try it. I'm not in any big hurry to, but and I have kept it in my mind, but I'm not sure she's going to be a, a Sean writer, but if I try anything by her, it'll be Mick Blue. A historical novel set in 1851 in Salem, Massachusetts. And the last one that I added to my TBR exactly two years ago today was Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie's feminist manifesto, Dear Idioeli, or A Feminist Manifesto on 15 Suggestions. I have this one. So I will mark it owned to be read. I bought ebooks of all of her published works on Apple Books a couple of years ago. Haven't got to this one. I'm going to do them in sequence, but I haven't gotten beyond Purple Hibiscus, which I loved. I should do at least one of her novels. The next one is, uh, I can't remember the title, but I'd like to get at least one of hers. I'll get to this one eventually. So the last step is what did I add to my TBR exactly one year ago today? January 19th, 2018. Okay, well, only one. A novel from... Oh, from an Australian novelist, Gerald Murnane. The Plains. Again, I don't remember why, but... It is a 2003 novel. I have not read anything by this author. It's about a, a group of rich landowning families in Australia who hire uh, artisans, writers, and historians to record their lives and their culture. And a filmmaker arrives and maybe all hell breaks loose. I don't know beyond that, but that sounds relatively interesting. Let's see if I have it on script. I don't, but I'm going to do a quick, if I can get a quick Kindle preview, I'm going to look at the first page. I can't get a Kindle preview. Well, I can, but because there's an introduction, the preview doesn't go beyond the introduction. So I can't sample the, the writing, but I've got lots of Aussie booktuber subscribers and uh, friends, so please weigh in. Should I try this book? Should I try another book by the same writer? I think I've heard other booktubers discuss Gerald Murnane. Also, am I pronouncing his name correctly? But uh, I don't remember hearing anything about this book. So that is my first stab at massaging my TBR. What did you think? Have you read any of these books? Would you recommend any of them over any of the other ones I talked about? Are any of these of interest to you? And, like I say, if you would like to try this, if you have a massive Goodreads TBR, why don't you try it? Thanks for watching.